restocking my walleye box and I realized that there's probably a couple of good tips in this for everybody. For one thing, when you're thinking about walleyes, think about component parts. Carry effective tackle in an assortment of sizes, shapes, and colors to cover all the situations from deep water daytime trolling to casting shallow water at night. Now, there's a few key manufacturers out there who offer a variety of this kind of equipment. And one of the very best ones I can think of is Northland Fishing Tackle in Bemidji, Minnesota. And that's because so much of their tackle is specifically geared to catching walleyes. Uh, as far as some of their jigs go, uh, the, some of their soft body jigs like the gumdrop or the lipstick have a real slow descent and the soft body feels natural to a fussy walleye. And plus you can mix and match the colors real easily just by changing the bodies like that. So that's pretty neat. Uh, what else we got here? Their fireball is also very unique. It's a real short shank jig hook. It holds a minnow real tight to the head. And plus it has an easily attached stinger hook for those real short strikers that just barely come up and nip at the bait. Uh, let's see, uh, sinking head. The sinking head is specifically designed to hold a plastic tail. It's got that little barb on there. That's the kind of jig head you want to use with the plastic tail. Uh, the Whistler is unique. Uh, they're the only ones I know who make something like that. It's got a little unique propeller arrangement. Goes like that. You don't really thrust it hard in the water, but if you give it a slow lift and drop, it sends off a unique vibration, and sometimes that'll trigger some extra fish. As far as your rigging goes, you can carry a whole variety of different components and mix and match your rigs. And that's always a good idea to really fine tune things, but you can also purchase some prepackaged rigs like the roach rig here, which has all the components together for you. They're available in both plain hooks and with floating snells. But to me, the real unique thing about the roach rig is that it has this sliding sinker stop on here. That's the length of my rig now, but if you just slide it up and down, that little stop grips the line like that, and you can change the length of your snell without any trouble. And if you're like me and you're lazy, you know, the easier the better. You change that snell fast and you'll experiment a whole lot more. Uh, as far as spinner rigs go, uh, spinner rigs are extremely effective in dark or dingy water. They seem to be really good in reservoirs. They're a real pain to tie up in the boat because of all the different components involved. So purchase prepackaged rigs or else get the components, set them out at home, tie them up at night. Uh, different lengths, different blade colors, and different hook arrangements. I like to use one hook for minnows or for leeches and a double hook for night crawlers. That's very effective. Toss in a few jigging spoons and then you could throw in some crankbaits or bobber rigs or bottom bouncers and weight forward spinners. Anything you think you might want to play with. And if you got this whole variety of components in your box, you can go any place in North America and mix and match everything, add some live bait, and you will be very effective in your walleye fishing. Now, if you're just getting into walleye fishing and you're not familiar with a lot of this stuff, uh, Northland has a variety of these little prepackaged kits where everything's pretty much put together for you. This one happens to be a jig kit here. We know that it's good equipment, good components. You can feel confident going out and using this. The more experienced you get, you probably pick out a certain few favorites here that you really have confidence in, and then you can purchase them individually. The nice thing about dealing with a good quality manufacturer is you have confidence in their product. You can rely on their reputation and experience to provide the quality components to suit your walleye needs. For a free copy of Northland Fishing Tackle's catalog and fishing guide, just look for the familiar yellow package display wherever quality walleye tackle is sold. Or send one dollar to cover postage and handling to Northland Fishing Tackle, Walleye Video Offer, 3209 Mill Street Northeast, Bemidji, Minnesota, 56601 or stop by at their booth at sport shows all around the country. These are some of the most popular walleye presentation systems. There are many more. And we only gave you the briefest overview of the ones we discussed. There are many additional fine points that will enhance your fishing success. New walleye systems are being discovered all the time. Foremost among these in the past few years have been the discovery that many more walleyes use shallow water than we previously suspected and the fact that suspended fish can be quite catchable with the proper techniques. We owe these discoveries chiefly to walleye tournament anglers who tour the country and experiment with non-traditional methods. They continue to unlock mysteries of fish behavior and teach the rest of us that there's always something new to learn in the fishing world. That's part of the charm. But you needn't be a professional angler to catch walleyes consistently. 
Armed with the foundation knowledge of walleyes presented here, you can use any or all of the preceding techniques with deadly effectiveness. Your first task is finding them. If you know what they require, what a lake offers, and how the fish will probably behave, it's simply a matter of trying several options until you connect. The only magic involved is the fun you experience reeling them in. For more information about the techniques discussed in this video, the In Fisherman's Advanced Walleye Video Series is designed for anglers serious about their walleye fishing. And you might want to pick up a copy of our many publications on the subject. Walleyes are a tasty fish, certainly among the finest of freshwater delicacies. However, they're also a valuable resource and subject to overharvest when the fishing pressure grows intense. Keep a few smaller ones for the table, but be sure to release most of the adults. They're the heart of the fishery, and their presence in the lake ensures that there'll be quality fish to catch far into the future. Hi, baby. <laughs>